Hey guys, it's M4J here and welcome back to the Blue Bullets here on F1 2020. As M4J Racing, we are absolutely flying here in Canada for the Canadian Grand Prix. I qualified in first pole position. George, my good teammate there, sat opposite me. He narrowly missed out on Q3. He came in 11th. So providing no penalties taken, he will be starting uh, as the best of the rest, basically, which is going to be awesome. <coughs> Excuse me, I just choked on my own air then. That's good. Um, yep, Jeff says, car's looking good. Pays for a decent result. Um, I think third, mainly. I think that the two Mercedes might get the jump on me at the start, maybe in the opening lap. Uh, and especially when DRS becomes a thing. There's so much... There's so much DRS here on this track. Three sections um, that I could be in trouble. But the main thing is it looks like it's going to be a dry race, which is awesome. I pressed the wrong button again. For so many weeks, I haven't pressed the wrong button. And then I go and do it there. 18 laps, though. Let's get into it, shall we? I'm um, nervously confident. I think it's a good way of saying this. I am nervously confident right now. Bonjour. It's time once again to go racing here in Montreal, the second largest French-speaking city in the world and home since 1978 to the Canadian Grand Prix. With top speeds of around 210 miles per hour heading into the overtaking opportunity of turn 13, the 2.7 miles of the circuit Gilles Villeneuve are some of the quickest on the Formula One calendar. There are 14 corners in total, with 60% of the lap taken at full throttle, and average lap speeds clock in at about 130 miles per hour. Joining us today to oversee all the thrills and spills, it's Anthony Davidson. And it's great to see you. How are you feeling about the race today, and how are the circuit conditions from what you've seen? Well, it's looking a bit cold out there, if I'm honest. These tyres have quite a narrow operating window in terms of the temperatures they need to extract the best grip. So with a cold track surface, it's going to be harder to keep those temperatures up, which will lead to lower grip and maybe more mistakes. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. It's the owner driver in pole position then. And it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Ricardo, Charles Leclerc and Ocon, Sainz, Vettel, Norris and George Russell, Albon, Kvyat, Lance Stroll and Perez, Latifi, Gasly, Valtteri Bottas, and Antonio Giovinazzi, Magnussen, Aitken, Grosjean, and Kimi Raikkonen finishes off the grid. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix underway. Well, I must say a big thank you to Perez for taking that penalty. Now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish. Taking the penalty and lifting George up into the top 10, that's going to do wonders for his confidence. George's confidence, not Sergio's. I don't care about Sergio. Uh, let's go with the conservative one. It worked really well for me last time. Softs and mediums. Let's do it. Okay, our system checks are good. We need to stay in formation and start bringing the car up to temperature, please. Get some load into the tyres and work the brakes. We want them nice and warm by the end of the lap. Let's go take it nice and easy around here on the opener. So if I have cold brakes and tyres, they will too, because they can't go past me. I don't know if you can get pulled out of the formation lap for going too slow. Just check that works. My um, ERS system is getting more damaged, as you can see. The, like, the, the, uh, what's the word? The hatching bit? Not the hatching bit. The, um, the bit with all the dashed lines. That's unavailable to me right now. We had that problem in Zandvoort last weekend as well, so it's not new. I will replace the system after this race. Check the brakes work. Yep. It's got plenty of heat in the tyres. Alright, game takes over. Oh god. It veers violently. Oh god. <laughs> what the hell? 
veers violently into the track. Alright, let's just hold on to first place through the first lap. I think I will lose it, but let's try and hold on to it. Steady on. Also, Leclerc qualified in... Uh, what would have been sixth? I think Perez did qualify fourth. Be patient and watch for the lights. So let's say sixth. He qualified sixth with medium tyres. It's quite impressive. I'm going to try not to watch the deltas, though. I'm just going to focus on what I'm doing. As Kimi comes in at the back. Come on. And away we go. Uh oh, wide already. More updates. Okay, copy that. He is right behind me, guys. He is right behind me. Yellow flag. Okay, that's a good start. Keep it up. Collisions, was it? Uh, went a bit too. Yeah, but got a bit overexcited there. Lost his lap at least. Oh god! Did it again. I think it's safe to say my, my race still is not against the Mercedes. If I ever race again, like at Zandvoort, where Verstappen's car breaks down then Hamilton's probably easier to take on 1v1. But right now, I think it's stupid to try and race him directly. Because I'm never going to catch him. Once he gets past me, I'm never going to catch him. And if I keep pushing, I'm just going to make mistakes that's going to let the car behind get me. So it's just about smooth and steady and try and get like a top three finish. If I can get on the podium, stand on the stairs, that's good enough. That's what I was trying to do on the first lap. Right, whip it round. That was the fastest lap of the race. Keep this up. Jeff, it was only lap two, mate. I don't know how to tell you that. It was only lap two. There's so much more racing still to do. Oh, God, my hands are so sweaty. If I was driving a wheel right now, it would basically be freewheeling in, in my hands. I've got no grip. Okay, we're monitoring somewhere on the ICE. Be aware that we will start to see a loss of power. The engine again. Okay, clear. Where on the ICE? Are you serious? Well, that's not what I wanted to hear, caution, is it? Caution, The virtual safety car is out. Reduce speed and maintain a positive delta. Drop your speed. Our delta is too low and we risk a penalty. Slow your pace immediately. Lando's out. I wonder what happened to him. I kind of want it to end soon, though. The 
Come on, game. Car is ending. Maintain your pace until the green flag. VSC ending. Wait for green. All right, green, go. Yellow flag. And then yellow flag. Someone's come off ahead of you. There's a yellow flag ahead. Oh my god, you see that? I clipped the grass then and my car just veered to the right. So Lando had a collision maybe or mechanical failure. Looking really good. You're managing it well. If I was to guess, I'd say mechanical failure. Okay, Hamilton's going to get me here, I'm sure. He's going to get me at some point on this lap. The energy store is approaching its wear limit. We will be forced to retire if we're not careful. Make sure to discharge your battery properly. Um, yeah, okay. Discharge all the energy. No problem. That's what I heard him say. Maybe he says something different. Oh god, that was a bit of a cut. Okay, around there. Good, good. Bit of boost. Come on, car. Please don't retire. That's like nightmare scenario right now. Oh, that was a rough ride. Pit window. We're approaching the pit window. You'll be on the mediums. Okay, pit window next lap by the looks of it. I'm going to go early again and try and do the undercut again. I hope I don't crash into who I uh, end up racing. As long as they don't slow me down, I don't have to race them. That's what I learned in Zandvoort. Oh god, I had to scratch my uh, head then. Uh, I can see him. He's right behind me. To be honest, I'm happy I've held him off for this long. Oh, and I got a bit of drift then as well. Yeah, my times are going to get slower now because the engine's going iffy. Let's use that as a technical term. The engine's going iffy. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, boy. No box this lap. Maybe I have another lap still. We're almost halfway through the race, Jeff. Are they going to fix my front wing? I don't think it's damaged myself. So I'm going to say no. I know I clipped the wall and it is showing signs of damage, but I don't think it's anywhere near bad enough to need replacement. Yeah, Lewis is going to get me here. He's got DRS. He was right up behind me there. He actually attempted a manoeuvre on that hairpin. Basically, he needs me out of the way. This lamp, so push now. Box this lap. Box this lap. Confirmed, we'll receive you at the end of this lap.
MK is where my lead comes to an end. I may never get it back. Oh, God. It is Lewis behind me, isn't it? And not Max. No, it's Hamilton. Lewis, not Alexander. I actually watched Hamilton last week. It's, I don't think it's as good as everyone makes it out to be, but it certainly wasn't bad. Oh, hello. Lewis has come in too, so Max is going to take the lead. I actually did not see that coming. Come on, lads. Quick one, please. Why are they going so slow? Go. Exit now. We're racing on the exit. Go, go, go. Oh, are you joking me, team? 2.8 se- Look! We're behind him now. Pit strategy complete. See these tyres through to the oh, end Oh, for now. God's sake. Well, second place it is. Maybe third if I'm not careful. I've got DRS. That was not a good hairpin, Mark. Come on. Stay enough behind him. Hear the beep. Oh, I didn't get the beep. Oh, no beep. Not close enough. George is coming in for his stop. Yeah. I watched the wrong car then. That was embarrassing. Come on, let's get ahead of Max. Just. We're up to third. Someone hasn't pitted still. I don't know who. Leclerc. Lewis has just gone. I don't think I'm going to catch him now. Eight laps to go after this one. Two seconds. Oh god. Twitchy. Can't get too twitchy. I got a Verstappen right behind me. Is the clear in? Nope, he's staying out. Seconds. More updates. Understood. Copy that. Oh, 11 seconds. That's not a, a huge gap between me and George. Can't complain. That was a really slow first sector, and Verstappen's right up my exhaust again. Jeff, have you got any good news? Why is everything breaking again? I don't understand. We're only really like a third of the way through the season. Is it like, is it tuned? So if you're only doing 10 races in a season, does it just break it at the same level as if you're doing a 22 race season? Is that what's going on here? Oh, I accelerate too hard. I was going to try and fling it in there, but I went too hard and didn't break in time. Oh, 
Oh, that was a risky manoeuvre. Second is still possible right now. So long as he stays where he is. And I don't twitch and hit the grass like that. Because that's not good at all. Oh no. Alright, just a warning. Just a warning. I thought I was going to get penalised then. That really wasn't good, though. I left that way too late. Come on. God, I get so tense whilst driving these races. I'm getting really twitchy here as well. Too wild still. The sad thing is, like, I know I've got them both up behind me most of the race, but I've not really done much for myself, so the highlights are going to be quite minimal. Me nearly smashing into the side of Hamilton in the pits, that might be on there, but besides that, I've not really raced anyone else. Even when I came out of the pits, I was right behind Lewis, so it was just same again. Roll reversal, really. Mm, that was a bit too much of a cut as well. I don't think I actually got an advantage from that. If anything, I lost it. Come on, round, 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 round. And away. A little bit of a kick. And we're good. That's better. That's better. Another purple final. Have well, I still got fastest lap? I have as well. Not sure how. Surely Verstappen's gaining on me. How's he not beaten my lap times? There's five laps of fuel remaining. I've also only just learned that you're supposed to clip that curb there in order to get the best race in line. I'm really slow in every respect right now. Oh. No, that wasn't smart, was it? Got that entirely wrong. Uh, over breaks there, but managed to cut the corner as a result, so maybe that was a win. Easy, easy, that's it. Round there, nice. Round here, nice. 
I'll count second place as a win, in all honesty. I can still see Lewis in front of me as well. I really wasn't expecting that. Come on. A good last chicane here. Wasn't too bad. Wasn't too bad. Bit too much in the first bit, but I think I cancelled it out in the second, I think. Smidge of a throttle around there and away. Right, I'm not going to gain on Hamilton now, so it's just about keeping Max in the boot. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. There's three laps of fuel remaining. I know the engine's on its way out, but... lap. Come on. He's going to be putting every single move he knows on me now. Oh no. No, he's closer than... No, he's closer than I thought. Kept him out. I guess one of the moves he's done is to put the NOS button on. Ooh. Okay, he actually looks quite a long way away now. Have I done it? Have I held him off? I think I have, you know. I think I've held him off. Yes! Second place. Good job, you did really well. Super driving. I think I thought he had me then. I thought he had me on that on that back straight with the DRS open. Perez driver of the day. Fair enough. I mean he got the penalty, so we'll see where he finished. That's it then for another magnificent Canadian Grand Prix. And they've hung on to take a sublime victory here today. Whew, that was something. So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? Well, this was a real team victory. They put together a solid strategy today that appeared well suited to the conditions out on track. The driver did everything that was expected of them in the moment to really execute the team's plan to perfection. A shining example of how F1 really is a team sport. After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team, and they certainly deserve it. Yeah, spray me with that champagne, Lewis, and then walk slowly away while I stand there awkwardly. Lovely stuff. Sweet. Oh, that felt like a win. That really felt like a win. That was big. Let's see where George came, though. If he came top 10, that would be awesome. First time we've both scored points. Let's see what effect this result has had on the driver's standings. 
Lewis Hamilton takes the lead of the Drivers' Championship. Now, let's discuss, Ants. Who would you say is a contender for Driver of the Day? Well, for me, it's got to be Lewis Hamilton. The multiple world champion may be the boring choice at this point, but you can't argue that he's a driver deserving of his reputation. It's an interesting one today. On balance, I think I have to call out Alexander Albon, a really solid drive from him today, and one that he and his team should be proud of. I know that's at odds with the official decision, but I think they deserve some recognition on a day where both of these drivers are at the top of their game. Let's move on to the constructors. Mercedes continue to extend their lead. Meanwhile, Ferrari have improved their position. A strong weekend from them as they fight their way towards the top. After an event like that, who knows what the sport has in store for us next time. Be sure to join us again as we continue to bring you the latest excitement in Formula One. Can I just say what absolute bull it is that Perez got driver of the day when he finished outside the points. He started 14th, he finished 11th, he gets absolute nil point. Meanwhile, Russell started 10th, finished 9th, gets two points by the way, two points, not just one, he got two points for this race. Um, I mean, I'm not saying he should be driver of the day, by the way, but Albon, he came up three places, finished eighth. You've also got uh, Sainz Vettel, who both claimed two places each. Leclerc's gamble didn't work out, did it? He came seventh. He was leading during that pit stop bit. Obviously, he hadn't pitted, but still. Uh, in terms of the incidents, I got a couple of warnings for corner cutting and exceeding track limits, but I didn't get penalised, that's the thing. And yeah, Lando with the uh, the McLaren the McLaren a call failure. I was going to say, no mechanical failure for the McLaren of Lando Norris. Uh, pit stops. What was Hamilton's pit stop? Two point seven. Mine was two point eight. That was the difference. That's how he got in front of me. Got to have faster pit crew. I don't even know if I can have faster pit crew. I think it is just what it is. But yeah, massive result for Russell to come ninth. Massive result. Really, really happy with that. Um, and big result for me too. Second place and fastest lap. So I get the extra point. So I'm on 19. So I've closed the gap on Verstappen by 4. Uh, I don't actually know what that does to the standings now. It moves me up to 3rd. I'm only 23 points now behind Verstappen. That's big. I'm miles, ahead of, uh, miles away from Hamilton. And I'm also not that far ahead of, of uh, Leclerc. Who I think is going to be my rival soon. We'll see. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. That was big. That was big. After the, the practice and the qualifying, I was not expecting a good race. So to come second like that, I'm really, really happy. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And of course, if you're enjoying the series, drop some comments down below. Let me know how to improve the car and the factory. Give me some advice about the pit crew as well, if there's a way to fix that and make them faster. I don't know if there is, but if there is, please let me know. Uh, and besides all that, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have already subscribed to the channel, thank you guys for your continued support. And until next time, I'll see you soon. Oh, enjoy the highlights as well.